Welcome back to the Kitchen Brothers channel. Today we present you a method of making the perfect sponge cake by following our recipe with its great fluffiness. A perfect sponge cake requires just a few ingredients. One part sugar, one part plain flour, eggs where yolks and whites are separated but together giving two parts, a pinch of salt. As mentioned, for our cake, we need to separate the yolks from the whites. The simplest way, according to us, is to crack the egg on a flat or round surface. You need to avoid the sharp edges and tools like knife or fork. Then crack open the egg over a bowl, letting the egg white flow between fingers into the bowl. Once the egg white is in the bowl, you can transfer the yolk to a separate one. Be careful not to break the yolk into the bowl with the egg whites. The number of eggs depends on the size of your baking pan. For us, it's about 500 grams of eggs for a pan measuring 25 cm by 20 cm by 6 cm. In this case, a kilogram of butter fits easily. If you're using a round pan with diameter of 24 cm, you'll need a similar amount or slightly less of ingredients. Our two parts of eggs or 500 grams mean that we need 250 grams of flour and 250 grams of sugar, one part each. We are using rectangular pan for ease of use with baking parchment. Baking parchment is needed only on the bottom of the pan. Turn the pan upside down and place the corner of the parchment paper in one corner of the pan, folding it evenly with one edge of the pan. Fold the edges of the paper evenly to ensure a perfectly straight fold. Then. Cut the paper from the roll at the crease. Apply the cut piece to the second corner of the pan, fold and cut in the same way. Voila! Our paper perfectly fits to the bottom of the pan. We use a small portable oven, but if you have a regular one preheated to 180 degrees Celsius, we need an oven without a fan, baking from both the top and bottom. While our oven is heating up, beat the egg white with a pinch of salt. If you don't have a mixer, a hand mixer or whisk will work. It will take a bit longer though. If you have a mixer, while the egg whites are beating to a stiff peak, Pour the yolks and sugar into the bowl and mix until the sugar dissolves. After a few minutes, our egg white should be beaten to a stiff peak. Check this out! Warning, from now on, all mixing should be done only one way. If you mix clockwise, do it clockwise only. Now, add the yolks to the beaten whites and mix everything slowly in one direction, as mentioned earlier.
When everything is thoroughly mixed, using a fine sieve, sift the flour into a mixture. Tap the sieve with two fingers to speed up the process. When combining the eggs with the flour, try not to prolong this process. Do it relatively slowly, but decisively and as briefly as possible, still in the same direction as before. When everything is well mixed, transfer the batter to the prepared pan and using a cake knife or spatula spread it evenly. Place the prepared pan in the preheated oven. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Keep an eye on the cake baking should take 30 to 45 minutes. The pan should be in the center of the oven. If you're not sure whether the cake is ready, you can pierce it with a wooden toothpick. If there is no raw butter on the toothpick after removing it, it means the cake has been baked through entirely. Using a sharp knife, gently cut the cake from the edges of the pan while it's still hot. This will make the edges of the cake settle evenly without protruding like a boat. Our sponge should easily exit the tray, put it aside and leave the cake to cool for about an hour. Nice! Slice it gently as many times as needed. For round sponge, sponge cake slicers are available. Oh my god, beautiful! Please drain me! Please take everything I have! Oh! If you followed our recipe, we hope your cake turns out as wonderful as ours. The sponge can be decorated with whipped cream, jam and fruits or used to create a fantastic birthday cake that will delight all your guests, leaving them in awe. Thank you all for watching, we hope that you enjoyed, please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe for more amazing recipes.